Okay guys, I'm just packaging up a candle order. If you guys don't know, I make candles and I do have an Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. So I'm just finishing up this order real quick. Got to put the shipping label on there and then it's four o'clock right now. I'm getting my nails done at like in like an hour. This is what they look like right now. I kind of went for like a butterfly moment, like a monarch butterfly moment or whatever. So I'm gonna go get my nails done, which I will bring you guys along for. So I am covering my address, but look how cute. I put a little kissy mark on the package. And also, can we talk about this gorgeous like wrapping paper that I'm using? I know that I'm looking a little bit mm, crusty, but it's really just because I'm not wearing makeup. I finished my package and for you guys to like purchase ca my candles makes me feel like they're good. Is that crazy? Also, I had work today. I nanny on Mondays and Wednesdays. Today's Monday, so I nannied for most of the day. That's why it's kind of late in the afternoon. My nail appointment's at like 5.15. I also had like an advising meeting with my college advisor for fall 2021. And I like know what classes I want to take. I'm really excited to go back to school. I know that you guys probably already know I took a semester off. And also, um, I'll be a senior in the fall and my favorite professor agreed to be my senior advisor and I'm like literally over the moon. So for summer 2021 and also I'm moving May 23rd, it's April 19th and I'm really, really excited about that honestly. Like I really like to be on my own and so to have like an apartment is gonna be really, really nice. So anyways, for the summer, I'm going to be taking social media and the arts. I'm gonna be taking reality TV and then I'm gonna be taking sensation and perception. Those are just like the course titles and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm honestly excited. And then in the fall, I'll just tell you guys what classes I wanna take. So in the fall, I have to take like a visual arts seminar that's what I'm in. I'm in a conservatory for visual arts. And then my senior project, obviously, which I just told you I got my favorite professor. So like, I'm really lucky, honestly. But I want to take anthropology of religion. I want to take rendering and graphic techniques for obviously for YouTube. I feel like it'd be helpful. I want to take literature and film of the Arab-Israeli conflict. I'm Jewish and I have family that lives in Israel. So I would like to be a little bit more educated. Um, I don't want to be an ignorant person, honestly. And then introduction to video art, once again, which I feel like will be beneficial to my YouTube career. So as I said before, I'm very excited about kind of the direction of my life right now. And I worked really hard for this. So I'm like really proud of myself that I've like gotten through. It has not been an easy year at all. It's honestly been like one of the worst years of my life. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. So just thank you so much for supporting me and being a subscriber. It really means a lot to me. I love you guys a lot. And I love when you guys reach out to me. It just makes my heart so warm. I really love talking to you. You guys can DM me whenever you want. Um, Honestly, also all of the candles that you order, I hand pack because I'm the sole owner of my Etsy store. Like everything I make is, I, I made it. So I'm the one shipping it out and everything. So all those letters I write to you guys, those are personalized and everything like that. So I don't know it just makes it a little bit more personal like i'm getting a little emotional because i just want you guys to understand that i don't take this for granted and i've worked pretty hard for it so yeah i'm gonna go and ship that off that little package right there ship that off to the post office and then we got can go and get um a manicure i honestly just am not feeling these nails i really liked them when i got them done but i feel like they're kind of atrocious now and i'm like not feeling it probably gonna go for like a simple french but also every time i get into the freaking nail salon i literally lose control and i just like i just do whatever i think is pretty so that is what we will be doing today and right now <gasps> shut the fuck up i literally just popped my nail off <sighs> it's been 12 days since i got this set i feel like this should not have happened in 12 days. I just dropped my friend's package off at the post office and then I got in my car, I put my keys in and my car would not start and it like really was not starting. I tried like eight times. So obviously it started because I'm driving right now, but tell me why I broke off my pinky nail and it hurts so badly. So now I'm missing my pinky nail and my middle finger or whatever. 
but it's fine so anyways i'm on my way to the nail salon right now i'm really excited i think i'm just gonna get acrylic french because that's very classic and you can never go wrong but i guess we'll find out right i also don't have a lot of gas but i feel like my nails are more important than gas even though my car literally just did not start so i will update you but i'll see you guys at the nail salon this is not a joke and i really wish i was kidding I literally just broke the shit out of my nail by trying to open my door and I'm here at the nail salon. I'm not even kidding. Literally, I broke one nail today earlier, like literally less than an hour ago and then three other nails just break. Oh my God, ow. <laughs> I hope my car starts when I get back in the car. We'll see what happens. I'm done getting my nails done. I went for that classic French and I really love them. I'm really happy. And I'm gonna go home, but these are amazing. I'm probably gonna make some candles, but look, aren't those pretty? Next thing I gotta do is get my lashes done because it's been a second and I miss them. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, let's pray to the good Lord in the sky that my car starts. Because when I was at the post office, and I was leaving the post office, it didn't start. Okay, ready? I'm kind of scared. Let's hope. Okay. I'll see you guys at home. I am home now. I love my new manicure. I think it suits me way better than what was going on before. It's almost 8 o'clock and I'm actually really hungry, so I'm gonna go make myself a little snack. And then I'm probably gonna, like, fall asleep, no joke. Because I work in the morning and I, like, have not been sleeping well, like, at all. Honestly, so I really need to sleep. Like, I literally did not go to bed until 3 o'clock in the morning last night, which is rare for me. I love my sleep, so I'm gonna go eat some cucumber, put some salad dressing on it with Parmesan cheese. Don't judge me, it's, like, really good. Then I'm gonna shower and go to bed. Probably gonna watch Vampire Diaries. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hi, besties. So it is, what time is it? 4.16 and I'm in the middle of my internship. Um, But I was like, mom, can I finish the wine? And she said yes. And it was like up to here. And now it's down to here and I'm feeling a little bit happy a little good so i just keep drinking it but don't worry about me guys okay because first of all i'm 20 years old which is uh, depends where you are in the world but i'm fine and also look what i have i have water okay i'm not stupid i'm not treating myself badly i ate like four stalks of celery with like a shit ton of ranch dressing and like a full pepper. So I'm honestly pretty healthy. And wine makes you live longer. Okay, just look at Greece. They're doing fantastic. So props to you guys, Greece. America really needs to take some notes. Anyways, I had work, right? It was a good day. It was fine, fun day, but I'm home now and I'm doing more work, which is like, mm, not my favorite but um i was just thinking right so i have a little pile in the corner of my room of dirty clothes and one of the like some of the stuff in that pile is of like this outfit i wore the other night to dinner with my two girlfriends i just felt so sexy in it so i was thinking like oh let me show them the outfit before i wash it and then I'll pack it with my, uh, I'll show you guys. This is where my last video of like what I'm wearing for Rock Girl Summer, it's in a fucking Costco box. You know those boxes you get at Costco to put your groceries in? That's why I'm putting my Hot Girl Summer clothes in so that I don't have to bring suitcases and then have suitcases in my apartment, which will just take up space that I could be using for like shoes or accessories or something other vital, some other vital thing. Also, it's 420, fucking blaze it. I will be siphoning today. 
just so you guys know i do smoke weed i've said it before i don't say it a lot because like i don't want some of you to be like oh you smoke weed unsubbed but also like if you do want to unsub because i smoke marijuana that's your choice i am not gonna say anything about it i really don't give a fuck but yeah it's 420 blaze it um yeah so i wanted to show you the outfit that i picked out to go have dinner with my girlfriends the other night that's dirty sitting in the corner of my room before i wash it because it's just so hot and like i really want to add it to my little box my little avocado costco box of sexy outfits so i'm going to show you guys what that looks like right now you know what i realized i realized i should show you the clothes and then like you use your imagination and then i show you what it looks like and then you decide if what you originally imagined is correct or not and then we go from there so let me go get my dirty laundry now this outfit was hard to pull off okay it was hard to pull off but i did it nicely so these are aloe leggings i know you guys probably know what the fuck lululemon is but this is another brand that's basically lululemon but they're not called lululemon they're called aloe as you can see, my tolerance to alcohol is very low. So these are aloe leggings, and I like them because they look like Kim Possible pants with these little, like, va va booms And then this part is sheer, and it goes all the way down your leg. And they're kind of cute. They look like, like I'm a spy. Like I can do, like, a nice high kick, break someone's jaw. You know what I'm saying? So I wore these, okay, these aloe pants, which are $120.00. I bought these when I was 16, okay? I would never fucking buy $120. I would buy. I would do that. I actually would. Uh, I'll show you the next thing. So those leggings, if I'm trying to look cute, I'm probably wearing a waist trainer. I fucking love shapewear. I love it. Especially when it's a waist trainer. Waist trainers are amazing. Now, with those pants, I wear my waist trainer on the second increment. Okay, usually I do the first, but I lost like... A lot of weight so i'm doing the second one and the aloe leggings i just showed you they're really high waisted so they could literally come like right under my titties so that's why i wore this with it because i just wanted my shape to look very snatched if you know what i'm saying so aloe leggings okay boom honestly high-waisted leggings and a waist trainer is just you can never go wrong i swear to god high-waisted leggings and a waist trainer if you haven't done it do it you're gonna love me for telling you that so yeah, aloe leggings and this waist trainer which I got off of Amazon. I think that's where everyone gets their fucking waist trainers unless you go to like a shitty mall. Originally, I was just gonna wear like this Calvin bra because I wanted my titties to look small. So just a Calvin bra and then this is a top. It's a cropped hoodie top from Fashion Nova and it is the only item I own from Fashion Nova. And I might change that one day, but I'm pretty sure that Fashion Nova uses, like, slaves to make their clothing. And I just feel like, why are we letting that happen? I bought this when I was 15, okay? I'm 20. I really have, literally, this is the only thing I buy from Fashion Nova in my life that I own. Anyways, it's kind of cute, though. But I do, it is not good, though. How they make it is not good. But, yeah, so this is, like, really, really cropped, but I liked it. So I was going to be like, okay, I'll wear that with my little Calvins and I'll put pull the Calvins down over the waist trainer, which I did. But because my waist trainer does not go over my shoulders and my back fat and my boob fat was like kind of squeezing out and I looked kind of fucking stupid. So what I did was I grabbed my little Victoria's Secret bling bling bra, okay, which I also bought a long time ago. And I put this on, okay, and then I put my Calvin bra over it and pulled it down so that the whole like back fat issue was concealed with my bra so that's what i did and i'll show you kind of like the whole look and you might be like wow you really did something and to that i say yes i did okay i put my tripod on the dresser because i want you guys to like see the whole fit and let's just make sure you can see me you can see me oh i wish it was more flattering but this is like the someone call my name hello no one called my name mm. 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 anyways let me show you what the fucking look looks like these are gucci sunglasses but i i stole them and i'm sorry i do repent for my sins 
I'm also a nice Jewish girl though, so um, I believe in self-betterment, not hell. Anyways, let's move on. Let me show you the outfit. I think I may. Someone's calling me. Yeah? Come. Are we smoking? We are. I'm coming. BRB. It's 420. I'm going to go uh, with my fam. Also, before any of you guys get like butt hurt about me smoking the weed, I live in New York and I'm half celebrating the fact that it was just legalized. So not only is it 420, but it's 420 in New York, bitches. So let's get lit. Yeah, text it to me. I'm back and I'm a little bit cross-faded. Happy 420. That's done. Let me show you this outfit though that I was talking about. Uh, I don't really want to change, but I'll do it for you guys. Here I am, once again, I'm falling in the distance, me and the You know what's really fucking funny? Me talking about my internship and then them looking me up. <laughs> uh oh. I hope that doesn't fucking happen. They were like, oh, give us your social media so we can, um, so we can tag you and stuff. And I was like, mm, no, thank you. I should have said I don't have social media, but I'm so honest as a person naturally because I'm a Capricorn that I just like, constantly tell the truth at least now I do bitches anyways <gasps> oh the corner of my TV went into my asshole That's a good stretch anyways here I am once again we gotta start off with the waist trainer people can't have no snatched body without the god name waist trainer but my nails, I hope they don't break. If they do, I'm gonna blame you, so. Let's begin so you guys can see what the fuck I look like. Oh shit, this is kinda hard to do. I'll be back when I have this on. Um, is it a coincidence that I got the first two hooked and now all I can smell is popcorn? And my next question is, am I having a seizure? So the next step that I do, and I'm telling you guys because I feel like I never used to do this. And so just in case you don't do this, I'm telling you that you should do this because it's like the right way. When you get your waist trainer on, okay? And I know that this is hard, but we're gonna do it together. You need to, even if you have acrylic nails like me, you need to grab it from the bottom and pull it down so it sits, oh, motherfucker on your hips oof okay pull it down as i'm not pulling it down all the way but if i was going out i would be pulling it down all the way you want to pull it down all the way because it will cover this part it will make this part bulge but we don't care about her you need to pull it down so that the top is sitting like right here so clearly i didn't pull it down long enough i'm just letting you know i swear to god you're going to see a difference and you're going to be like thank god i watched that video that one time that i don't remember where you're supposed to pull your waist turned down as far as it can go I'm telling you because I love you. Next step. Obviously, I told you that I was wearing this sparkly bra, but I didn't show the straps. It was really just to show, like, just to use a bra to pull down and cover that, like, fat that you don't want popping out. Okay, so once you do that with a real bra, like a wired bra, then you can take whatever, like, logo or non-logo sports bra that you want. You're going to put it over your bra, okay? Bear with me. This outfit was really cute, okay? And I felt like I could make anyone fall in love with me, okay? So take your bra, your, your sports bra, and pull it as low as it can go. And we don't care about those straps. The straps to your real bra, you can pull wherever. 
Now take that sports bra, pull it as low as it can go, okay? You want the band to come kind of far down, okay? So it kind of looks like that, okay? Now bear with me, next step, the leggings. So like I said, with the leggings, you're gonna want them to be really high-waisted, okay? I'm gonna show you why, but I think you might already know. We're gonna cover the waist trainer. It's just gonna look like your body, right? So let's put the leggings on. Oh my God, I forgot how much effort this outfit is. But anyways, pull the leggings on and up as far as you can, okay? Oh my God, this sucks. <sighs> the things I do for you too. Now, once you have your leggings all the way up, you're gonna take your sports bra, you're gonna pull it over the leggings. That's gonna make people think that your figure is naturally this fucking snatched, okay? We're lying. We're visually lying. This is an illusion, okay? What you see is not what you get. But um, yeah, go to the back, do the same thing. Pull that bitch over that waist trainer so that it's just leggings and then sports bra. And then the illusion number two is that your boobs are naturally like perky because they don't know that you're wearing a wired bra under your extended sports bra. They don't know what we're doing. Last and final step. That was, that was redundant, but you're gonna take your cropped hoodie or crop top or whatever the fuck you want it to be. Put that bitch on, put that bitch on. And I told you to hide those real bra straps. Okay, this is why, boom. It looks like I'm just wearing a sports bra. It looks like I fucking look like this for real, okay? Now you guys know, and I know, that I don't look like this for real unless I got a BBL, which I'm gonna get a BBL. But this was the outfit I wore and I was like, ooh, I kind of like her. She's kind of comfy. Um, I wanna wear this. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick that this is an outfit I will be wearing to school. Oops, just never do that. Never do that. So anyways, now that I showed you what this outfit looks like, I am going to wash it because it's dirty. And I'm gonna change back into the homeless clothing that you saw before so I can go buy balsamic so my mom can make chicken, okay? Gotta go grocery shopping, so I'm not gonna wear this to the grocery store because of how sexy I look. <laughs> I'm gonna change, I just wanted you guys to know though that this outfit is like so cute and maybe you learned something about the booby illusion of two bras and one not showing or the waist trainer illusion that you gotta pull that bitch down right to your ass crack, okay? And some pasta. Mm -mm -mm -mm. She cooked it for me. Thank you. Hey besties, it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm drinking a strawberry lemonade bite. And I do have a small addiction. The strawberry lemonade is definitely a fave. But let me show you how bad this problem is. My love for buys is like kind of crazy. And it started in high school. Yeah. So this one, delicious. Dragon fruit. Mm. This one is my least favorite. It's the Clementine, but I still drink the bitch. This one is delicious. First time trying it today. This is the kiwi strawberry one. And the one I'm drinking right now is the strawberry lemonade. Now these are only 10 calories, but that doesn't necessarily mean I should be drinking five of them in one day. I literally cannot stop though. So yeah, I am. Um... I'm gonna have a problem. But they're so good. Um, I can't stop drinking buys. Oh, it's so good. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> and I've been watching Vampire Diaries this whole night, so. Buys and Vampire Diaries. You know, you could say I'm doing well. I like to think I'm doing well, but um, these buys staring at me. Mm. Anyways, guys, 
I'm going to sign off now because it's 10 o'clock and I think I'm just going to shower and go to bed after I finish this strawberry lemonade bag, of course. Uh, I don't know really what's in these bags, but I think it could be crap. So I'm going to finish this episode, hop in the shower, and go to bed. If you guys like this video, then please hit the subscribe button and like this video. Turn on my post notifications so that you can get updated every time I release a new video. And I will see you guys next week. Love you. Oh my god. <gasps> I know why I had liquid diarrhea today. It's because I drank so many buys. Oh my god, is that why I pooped so weird? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh.